interview with uh, Kira Caruso ahead of uh, USA versus Ireland part two, uh, part one in Athens. And um, okay, we lost the game, Kira, but it was a very encouraging performance from Ireland, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. We came out in a kind of a different tactics, a different formation that we're uh, that than we're typically we're used to. And I think that it showed a lot of promise for us as a team and where we can grow with a, kind of a new, a new style. From your point of view, you were a huge part of that tactical tweak, if you like, um, playing that, the lone striker role, if you like. Yeah, uh, the lone striker role, great way to put it. Um, yeah, so it, I mean, it's, it's massive. What an opportunity for myself to be able to step in in a position like that and, and play a, a team like the U.S., and try out this this new style for us and I'd say that um, it's definitely a position I'm comfortable being in it's a, a style of play that lone striker I've played before against um, some pretty uh, massive competition so when you're out there you kind of just have to think like it's any other game but I, I it was nice to have that familiarity of that role but it wasn't any other game it was a game against the world champions and you know they are obviously as the world champions are the number one team in the world from your point of view as well, being born in the United States, uh, what were the emotions like? Yeah, you're not wrong. That's the number one team in the world and you can't take that lightly in any capacity. Um, well, I mean, just being uh, in the U.S. and playing is, is crazy in itself. I mean, I don't think that you could have told me that this would be a position I'd be in, you know, 10, 15 years ago. But uh, that being said, uh, I would say that when you step into onto that pitch and there's a sold out crowd, and it's that loud and the roars are, are reverberating through the stadium. I think regardless of where we are in the world, regardless of who you're playing, that is palpable, that kind of energy and stuff. So that in itself was, was wild. But it's also very encouraging to see us as a team be able to play in an environment like that, hold our heads, be consistent, stay composed. It's massive. And I'd say that I'm, I'm so impressed with myself and our entire team in that. You had the ball in the net as well, unfortunately ruled out for, for offside, but what a great move that was. You were at the beginning and at the end of it. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. Um, I think that that was a perfect example of the way, um, you know, Vera has worked with us this week and kind of like, so, kind of set ideas and plays that we really try to, um, try to incorporate into our game, especially when we're playing such a powerful U.S. team. And I think it's, it showed that, when we have the opportunity in front of that, we have the opportunity in, in the final third, you have to be composed, you have to be dangerous. And if anything, I think it was a perfect example of, of um, along with many other examples in that game of us being dangerous in that final third against a very good US. Part two then, US again, uh, different city, probably different team that you'll have to face. What about uh, ourselves? I mean, you, will you hope to play that role again? Yeah, of course. I would, you know, as a player, you always want to make sure you're on the field making an impact and stuff. But I also understand that we are in a very, um, we're in a tight timeline coming up to the World Cup. And we definitely need to show variations of ourselves and, um, and be consistent in what we can produce against very good uh, opponents. So for myself, I do, I do hope that, you know, come, come the game that I'm out there again and we can kind of bring out the kind of, bring consistency to our performances. But um, yeah, I'd say that we always have variation in what we have in our team, especially with the, the talent and the players that we have. So yeah. I'm excited to kind of, um, kind of see how that goes. And daring to dream about getting on the plane for Australia and what it's going to be like at a World Cup. Yeah, I mean, you, all of us, it's always in the back of your mind. And I've said it before, I think that every day you're always thinking, what can I do to ensure that I'm a non-negotiable when it comes to that time, when it comes to those, those decisions that the coaches have to make. And, and um, as a team, as a team player, as yourself, you know, in whatever role that might be. So, uh, yeah, I think that daring to dream always, as is everyone else. I'd like you to talk to me about the impact that Sinead Farley has made already on the, on the pitch and around the, the, the squad, because hers is an extraordinary story as well, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, Sinead is a perfect example of someone being able to come in and just mesh with our system so well. I think that um, it has to be a testament to her mentality, to her buy-in, to her attitude. I always say that what makes this team so special is the bought into our culture and our mentality of just relentlessness and Sinead, the minute that she stepped into our squad, 
she has shown that on the field, off the field, and as a personality has been very, meshes very well with everyone. So um, just such an impressive story, such an impressive human. And I am, I humbled, honored to be able to be out there with her. She's some player, isn't she? Yeah, fantastic. The way that ball stuck to her foot. Ooh, it's like glue. You love that. Love to see that. There's yourself, Sinead, um, there's Courtney, Marissa, all US born and some of the players playing their football here as well. The US is the best in the world, we've been saying that. The influence that you guys can bring to Ireland is important as well, isn't it, in terms of mentality? Yeah, yeah, I do think that there is a, there is that kind of different um, maybe approach to the game or approach to the mentality that we can bring. But what I do find that is very special about Ireland is this ability that to, for the Irish team to, for us to like bring in, no matter who it is, this, this welcomeness, this buy into our culture, buy into our mentality, we buy into you because it's a two way street in that sense. And even since the moment I've come in and I've been in now for quite a while, but, and I'm sure Courtney feels the same and Marissa and I would hope Sinead could say the same, but like that mutual respect and um, ability to learn from one another because it doesn't always work that way. And you, and you need that kind of comparable, um, that comparable personality, that comparable kind of respect amongst each other to be able to do that. And I am, I'm so thankful that this team is like that because that's, again, what makes us so special, what makes us so successful, is to integrate ourselves and other players in so quickly. And can you appreciate, you, you spent a lot of your career in Denmark, you're in London now, but the impact that, you guys success is having on, on the country oh absolutely i mean it is it's legendary i mean we're flying out of dublin to come to the u.s and you're just in the airport and everyone is lo like not beyond just looking at you they just they want to say hi to you they want to take your photo and like it's it means so much because especially for the women's football world to see such progress and such no notoriety and what you're doing and it makes you it makes it that much more special you know it's always of course we're always regardless of where we are in the world regardless of where women's football is we're out there to compete and we're out there to you know bring so much honor to Ireland but to be able to see that from the people around us and from the country is it's incredible and it feeds to our energy which it means the world a result against uh, a good result against the United States tomorrow would make people sit up and take notice, maybe the opponents, maybe Australia, Nigeria, Canada. Oh, oh, absolutely. I, I know that our games, especially um, against the U.S., are on the world stage right now, and they're very much being watched. So I'd say that, that we feel the same way, that this is why we want to take on these, oppor these opportunities, these big challenges, these, these step-ups in our game. We want to be able to um, be comfortable with being uncomfortable, you know, you got to be that way if you're going to be competing in the World Cup, and I'm excited for us. And so am I. Kira, thank you so much. Of course, thank you.